Summers with Aldi Books, and I'm here with a March book haul. Never fear, it will not be the only book haul in March because my sister just gave me a gift card this week, and I've already spent it, so um, there will be another haul, a really focused haul that I'm super excited about, so coming soon. Anyway, these are the books that I have gotten this month. I'm trying to control myself, but not doing a very good job, apparently. <laughs> anyway, the first three I have already mentioned in my Friday reads. So that is Larry McMurtry's Lonesome Dove. This is um, set in Texas in a cattle drive to Montana with some former Texas Rangers. And I am highly, highly enjoying it. And then I have started Dissolution by C.J. Sansom. This is set in Tudor, England, um, I guess during the Reformation, and it's a mystery, and I am really, really enjoying this one as well, and pretty excited because this is the beginning of a long series, so yay. And then I got the next five of the Faber stories, these are little short stories put out by Faber for their 90 year anniversary. And Sean and I from Sean the Book Maniac are reading these together. Um, so yeah, I have read the first five. I'm only letting myself buy five at a time and I'm making myself read at least three of those five before I buy more. So this is the second second half of the January releases, and then there were 10 more released this month that I don't have any of those yet, but um, Samuel Beckett, Dante and the Lobster. This is another one that Sean and I are going to read this month for the Irish Readathon. And then we have Sylvia Plath's Mary Ventura and the Ninth Kingdom, P.D. James, The Victim, Juna Barnes, The Lydia Steptoe Stories, and Akil Sharma, Cosmopolitan. So looking forward to reading those. I've had great success with these thus far in enjoyment of them. And then I went ahead and grabbed Persuasion by Jane Austen. This is the last of Jane Austen's works, and I've been buying um, all of them in this cute edition. And this was the last one I didn't have, and I started to get nervous about having five and then, like, this one going out of print. I don't know that it's going out of print. I'm just, you know, anxiety with it. So, anyway, I have it now. I was making myself um, read one before buying the next, but... I made an exception. So I still have to read Northanger Abbey and then Persuasion. I'm reading them in publication order. Okay, and then an impulse buy, Heidi um, from My Reading Life and I read The Forest Unseen last year. It was, I believe, a runner up for the Pulitzer and it was just absolutely fabulous. We thoroughly enjoyed it. So. Um, she noticed this was available at her library, so I went ahead and picked it up as well. The Song of Trees, Stories from Nature's Great Connectors. So really, really looking forward to getting to that one very, very soon. And then, um, did I mention it's my birthday? It's my birthday in March. <laughs> That's why my sister gave me a gift card. So I have been telling myself I would get the third in this series for my birthday, so I did. Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan. This is just, they're just enjoyable and the movie was delightful. So I'm looking forward to reading the end of the story. And then these next three are um, new releases. So I pre-ordered them. So on March 5th, I got Gingerbread by Helen Oyeyemi. From what I understand, this is kind of a retelling of Hansel and Gretel. Um, cover by oranges on the cover. I don't know. I'm attracted to that. <laughs> it's maybe a magpie thing for me. And then I got Lisa Sees the Island of Sea Women. I really enjoyed um, the Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane last year. 
and so I wanted to snag her new release and this one is focusing on um, the Korean diving women and I read first read and learned about their story in white chrysanthemum last year so I'm really interested to see another take on um, that point in time so I'm gonna read that soonish and then I got If Cats Disappeared from the World by Genki Kawamura. This one just came out this week on Tuesday. I guess it was the 12th. And yeah, cats. <laughs> what else is there to say for me? Anyway. And then last but not least for my birthday, I also got myself the second in the Showa series. This is a history of Japan by Shigeru Mizuki. This is 1939 to 1944. And these are um, manga. So yes, I love this art style. That's what I got. Stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be very focused. Should I go ahead and tell you I bought a bunch of um, middle grades, early YA, books written in verse yes they're all written in verse and I'm way excited about it so anyway stay tuned for that and thanks so much for watching and I will be back soon bye hey so this is the last of the bonus sister clips um I'm between jobs in the car so excuse the weird light but uh yeah we went to the Opryland Hotel for lunch before I took her to the airport later that evening and it is so cool it's a huge hotel with an extensive indoor uh, conservatory with um, full-size palm trees and other trees and just it's a tropical paradise indoors there's even a little river ride and yeah little my sister was like it's like a little village inside I'm like yeah it is so we were laughing because I said she she said it would be perfect for me if I had just a smaller version for myself because you know like to be in nature but don't like to be cold in the winter and I said yeah I could have a tiny house for myself inside this greenhouse and you know a tiny house for my library it would be perfect anyway Enjoy and hotel.